Hello there, my lovely fire signs. This is this is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. And this is the weekly reading for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So I know there's something brewing. I don't know if you're going to light the fire or begin to light the fire or we're, I'm not sure, but I feel like, you know, there's a real... I, I, what it feels like is like there's a fire brewing and I think you're going to take like maybe a little bit of the fire and see what happens, you know, like maybe I'll, I'll light a little bit of it uh, and I'm going to see what happens. It's not a full blown uh, energy yet. That's what I get. All right. Let's see what the cards have to say. Mm. It was so loud before. I don't even know if it came through in the video. It's like, if I wait for it to be quiet, I'll never get anything done. All right. Okay. Change. Change in a way of thinking. It's like I'm going on a new path. I used to, I used to follow or do things in a certain way or think in a certain way and it doesn't really work for me anymore. It was too, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't work for me anymore. I think I'm going on my own way because I've learned my lesson. I've learned my lesson and I'm hearing a different calling. I'm, I'm like, I'm really following my intuition in a way and I'm, I'm following the messages that I'm getting in a way that I haven't before. And it's interesting because, you know, I do readings for individuals, blah, blah, blah. And really the past few months, it's like so many, every, everyone's opening to, I think, you know, we all have all had it, you know, we all have it and we all have always had it, but I think people are listening to it more because it's so weird out in the, in the real world, whatever that means, that it's like, mm, I think I'm going to follow my intuition more. I think I'm going to follow these new thoughts more because if I rely on the outside stuff, it's just too uh, chaotic. Yeah. Card of Sagittarius. You know what I get from this card lately? What I really get from that card is like, not only is the angel of healing here, but it's this understanding of, I can heal myself. I can heal myself. I can bring things into balance like with the help of spirit and everything, but at the end of the day, I'm in charge of it. It's, you know, it's just, it's in a way, this is the example. It's like, okay, I have something physically weird and I go to the doctor and the doctor, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, part of you is like, is there another option? You know, can I incorporate this? Or, um, you know, maybe I could do it through diet Maybe there, there's that energy. It's like this energy of taking one's power back. That's the energy of taking one's own autonomy, one's own power back and utilizing it. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. This card's come up a lot, um, which is really wonderful. So, you know, it's the card of joy. It's a card of happiness. It's a card of like artistic inspiration, creativity, you know, it can involve, um, community um this energy of me working with people that i love or you working with people you love that have like there's a common something going on that you know you can all bring to the table and and, and form something new it's really nice it's a really nice energy and what i just got is body mind spirit like that's what i'm getting body mind spirit you know coming together as one to form something new. Really nice. And the Empress. Mm. And the Empress. I Just like I said before, like taking one's power back and taking one's, and you know, taking one's power back and being emotionally, physically, um, financially, um, socially, 
I feel like the kernel is on the inside and you're really getting that the kernel is on the inside. It's not from the outside. It's really from the inside. It's really from the inside. And it's from there that you can grow from there. And, you know, kind of interesting that I said the kernel because she's pregnant, right? She's pregnant. It's like, okay, I'm going to rely on, on, on this new thought, this new fertility I have inside myself to lead me. It's not so much this one said that, or I read this on the new, it, it, it's more like, no, 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 I'm going to go in here. I'm going to create from here. I'm going to create from here. Yeah. And I'm not going to settle. I'm not going to settle. Like that's the energy that I re today, especially it's like, I'm really, really not going to settle. like, okay. So I want a new job. Let's say, and then, you know, you hear through the grapevine or like, oh, well, you know, someone has a really crappy job that is far away and doesn't pay any money. <laughs> and in the past, maybe you would have said, well, you know, I need something. And, and, uh, and now you're going to be like, no, no, if it doesn't really bring me joy, if it's not healing, if I'm not here, my, if my instinct isn't on with it, I ain't doing it. Oh, wait. That's the energy I get. All right. It's really about tending the fire inside of yourself. Like that's what I'm really getting. Okay. There's a change in the way I'm thinking because I, um, I'm willing to see things in a new light that are more healing and more balanced. I am not settling for whatever just comes my way. I'm uh, interested in helping this new energy grow that's based in joy. Very nice. Extended readings are available for members. Uh, please join. And um, that's for all the fire signs, as well as the water and the earth and the air. See you soon. Blessings.